Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be teaching you normal distribution. So a normal distribution has a bell-shaped probability distribution graph. So the other day when we were talking about type of distributions, this one was the symmetric. So a couple of vocab words, mu is the mean, so this is red mu. And this is sigma, lowercase sigma. Mu is going to represent the mean of a population, which your calculators have been showing you x bar for the mean, but that's of a sample. Now, the mean is always going to be the same for both of them but the symbols are just representing, we're talking about a population, we're talking about a sample. And this is also. So, the mean is at the center of the graph where the curve is the highest, which we also talked about when we learned about the types of distributions and skewness. And then what standard deviation is, is the inflection points of the curve um, that are one standard deviation from the mean. So standard deviation is a number, and it's essentially how far we are from the mean. So we're going to, one standard deviation is going to be the mean plus a standard deviation. Two standard deviations is the mean plus two sigma. And then three standard deviations is the mean plus three times sigma. And then similarly, we can go to the left. So the mean minus sigma, one standard deviation from the mean, two standard deviations from the mean, three standard deviations from the mean. Now, you can go more, but statistically speaking, all of your data is going to be within three standard deviations from the mean, so we don't need to go any further than that. So let's do an example that's going to apply it. Example one, the weights of quarters are distributed normally with a mean of 4 grams and a standard deviation of 0.2 grams. So what we're going to do is label the mean on the curve. So mean, remember, is smack dab in the middle. B, label the values that are one standard deviation from the mean. So we know that the standard deviation is 0.2 and the mean is 4. So this is 4. I guess I should have labeled it the actual number. Sorry. So one standard deviation from the mean is going to be here at 4.2. And then another standard deviation to the left of the mean, one standard deviation, is 4 minus 0 0.2, so 3.8. Part C, two standard deviations from the mean, so 4 plus um, 0.2 plus 0.2, or just from 4.2 you can add. So that's going to be 4.4. Subtract 3.6. That's that. So, normal distributions have a special property, the 68, 99.7 rule. So, um, this rule states that between the first two standard deviations, so standard deviation 1, that's going to have 68% of your data. So, 68% of the area underneath the corn falls within one standard deviation. 95 is going to be between 2, and then um, 99.7 is going to be 3. And then there's a tiny little bit on the outside, because if you add all that together, right, you're only at 99.7, so there's a little bit outside. So uh, we want to break this apart even more, because if 68% is one standard deviation to one standard deviation, 
then from the mean to one standard deviation is only, so this part is 34%. Similarly, just this part is going to be 13.5%, right? So I can do that by taking the 95, subtracting out the 68, and dividing by two. Similarly, we can figure out this distance between the second and third standard deviation. So 99.7 minus 95 divided by two. 2.3 percent and hopefully you're thinking well that doesn't all add up to 100 so 100 minus 99.7 divided by 2 on the outside we have the last point oops 0.15 percent and same goes for the left half all right so example two ridge counts and fingerprints are approximately normally distributed normally distributed with a mean of about 150 and a standard deviation of about 50. Label the mean and values that are one and two standard deviations from the mean and then find all of these probabilities. So what I'm gonna suggest is I think you guys know enough at this point, you should pause the video and then work amongst yourselves to figure out A through E and then hit play to check your answers. All right, so hopefully you labeled your um, normal distribution. So 50, 200, 250, 100, one, and just 50. Um, so it only asks for one and two standard deviations, but you guys will be asked for three, potentially. Um, so for the probability between 100 and 200, that's within the first standard deviations. So that's kind of easy, that's just 60% of more than 200 is going to be more than 200, so that's all of this. So that's gonna be 13.5 plus the 2.35, and then also, if we drew in the third standard deviation, the 0.15. So the probability that a randomly chosen individual has a ridge count more than 200 is 16%. Similarly, we're going to the left um, of less than 100 is going to be 16%. And then for more than 250, you've got the 2.35, but you also have that 0.15%. And that's it. So that's if it's falling between a certain amount of standard deviations. And soon you will learn how to find a probability if it's a little bit more in between. So that's it.